Hey guys, I am Percy Playa, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to boost your game for any game that you play. Uh, any game over here is any game that I play. Um, so what you're gonna need to do is uh, I use Google Chrome to do to uh, go on the internet. You can use any browser for this. Of course, doesn't really matter. Um, and you want to search Razer Game Booster. Booster. And download this. And you're also going to want to create an account. I'm not going to get into that because I already have one. So just let the page load up. And you're going to want to download it for whatever system you have. I have, I have for Windows, but you're going to download it for whatever system you have, like Mac. And uh, it's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to uh, boost your game, obviously. It's ga called Game Booster. Uh, you can use it for, I've already, as I said before, it's compatible with any game. And it's, uh, I think it's only for Windows. I'm not sure, though. It might be for Mac, but I doubt it. And, yeah, see, it'll come up with new to Razer software. And uh, if you want to create an account or not, and then there's some other Razer products, and you want to do all this, of course. And then, so once you've got it downloaded, you're gonna want to open it after installing, after install, and then you're gonna start on games most likely. And as you can see here, there are a, I have a lot of games, and what this program essentially does is um it if you go to utilities here see well first you kind of want to add your games uh you got the search menu here uh, the add game here and then the refresh game here for scanning for games take a second to scan okay and then you also have utilities Right now, I have it in boost, uh, in manual, in non-boost mode. And see, uh, here you're gonna want to check everything because this is, uh, this is like background things that uh, your computer uses. I'm sure everyone knows about that, but some people might not. Uh, if you want to like find out what it is, if you're running Windows 8, you can go to Task Manager, and uh, you can click few more details here at the bottom. And uh, here are all the background stuff, uh, background programs that are running. Uh, the window processes and the non-window process processes, or whatever you want to call them. But, uh, so you've got the, uh, so customize or recommended. And you're going to want to check everything. Uh, it, in order to maximize your FPS. Because these what these programs do is they lower your FPS like incredibly and uh like it's just they take up more ram than uh than you like than you would be using normally and uh if you go up here there's more like services and non window services and all of that i have everything checked there is one thing you don't want to check though if you go to others and you go to explore in this explorer thing here you do not want to um you don't want to turn that off because it'll it'll actually give you a warning it might call, terminate certain functions such as my computer and i don't really know uh what that will do but i really doubt it'll be good so i really don't uh I recommend touching that and if you do it's not my bad it's your bad uh, and then there's also uh, this you definitely want to check it has game desktop and what it does is it takes all these icons away uh, And I mean it restores them once you're done, but it takes all those icons away and uh, it, it makes it it also gives you a higher FPS uh, The and then you got your controls here and Then you've got defrag which is cool because it uh, like you it defrags it and makes it to where it runs maps faster and loads faster. You've got your FPS that you can have on or off. I, I prefer it on in the left. Uh, the drivers is just um, like the uh, what you update. The uh, tweaking is uh, like it's for errors. I mean not errors. Sorry, internet 
uh, you can make your maximum download feed stuff and stuff and stuff. Uh, you can diagnose your computer to see everything that you have with Analyze. We're not going to do that. And then you've got, you can record with this. Uh, you can record with this in video capture mode. And you've got the game resolution in middle and highest or whatever you want to do it. And then you've got all your games. You can favorite them and have a background picture like for Planet Side 2 here I have a background picture for Just Cause 2 I have a background picture and this little star means it's favorited and here you go here and then that's where you put all the settings uh, by default it's what it's linked to when you add it and so yeah now I'm gonna go into a game and show you what it like the differences uh, for this, I'll be doing Scribble Nuts Unmask, a very recent. Hey guys, um, I am Pressure Player back with a Scribble Nuts, with Scribble Nuts, uh, test on the Razor Game Booster, and this is for without Game Booster. Uh, as you can see, I'm not going at the highest FPS. Uh, remember, I am recording, so that does lower my FPS. I do not have a gaming computer of any sorts, so. It's not really the highest that I could get without record with while recording, so keep that in mind. And also, um, uh, so this is I'm using it to record, but it is not active, as in I still have all my background processes running, and so that is why I'm getting a lower frame per second, such as 14 or 13. So uh, I'll be right back with Razer Game Booster actually running, and I should get an incredible frame uh, frame increase, and it uh, will make my game much more enjoyable, playable, and durable. I guess I doubt it. That's not. Hey guys, Perky Player here with the Scribblebots gameplay with Razer Game Booster active to show an example. Uh, but I have actually learned now that it does not work when you uh, are recording, it doesn't seem, uh, unfortunately. But uh, it does, although I can't show it to you, it does increase your FPS when you are not recording. And you will actually see an incredible frame boost, such as I was before running around 10 FPS. I went up to 20 and 30. So... Yeah, you can get some incredible frame boost with Razer Game Booster. I highly recommend it, and I really like the software. It's amazing, and it's really good for games like Planet Side 2. If you uh, ever play that, or uh, high graphic inten graphically intense games. Uh, so, yeah, I highly recommend you get this program. It is free after all, and uh, it is extremely useful. Uh, I also recommend you get other Razer Game Booster, Razer, Razer products, but uh, you don't, I, of course, you don't have to. So, I recommend all of these to you. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you do. My name is Percy Players.